So Lindsay Ellis got canceled on Twitter for a take on Avatar The Last Airbender. She watched Raya. She said it was the same. Uh, I think we need to come up with a name for this genre. Uh, first off, I don't think Lindsay should have been canceled for this dumb tweet. So let's go over it because this tweet is still dumb. But it's not cancel worthy. She didn't do anything bad. Hell, other people have said it too. Saber Spark on YouTube. Uh, he's on Twitter. You can you can find him. Um, the Honest Trailer Reviews said this, which yeah, they're they're dumb takes, but at least they make sense because they're both fantasy s settings with Asian environment. But there's a problem here. Avatar took environment from every like yes, it it heavily took more from Asian culture, but Avatar took from all types of culture. It took from Inuit. Uh, it took from. I think the Earth Kingdom, I, I'm trying to remember what the Earth Kingdom was based off of. I knew the Fire Nation was based more on, you know, Asian, you know, China uh, and all that and and all that stuff. And a little bit of America at times, you know, ironically, which <laughs> that's that's so bad. No, like I because I, I can see the Fire Nation as America for some people. I, I get where, where some people go with Uh yeah, but a lot of Avatar was based off a lot of different cultures. Uh, they took inspiration from Asian people, yes. But uh, they took a lot of it from other cultures. And that's one of the big reasons how Aang's based off of nomadic, you know, nom nomads and all that stuff. Katara, as I already said, Inuit people. Like, these these are, these aren't these are anything new. Hell, a lot of the fighting styles come from other cultures. It's, it's not perfect. Uh, the show has is flaws. It's not. It's not a perfect, like full on thing you can watch and understand all all these things. But I can still say that if you watch the show, that you can learn a lot about the other, uh, you know, other people's cultures. Not a lot, but you can learn a, a good amount. Because some of these things you would actually have to heavily research at best, and they had consultants and whatever. But I think the real problem she said is. It's like half of all uh, young adult fantasy published in the last few years is trying to be Avatar. Which is dumb. Because young adult fantasy ends up just being... And and, and, this people, and people have to remember this. Avatar is based off... Is based is using the chosen one uh, a fallacy. What, I, what I'm going to call it is... The main character is really good at everything. Because he's the chosen one. But Avatar takes the concept of the chosen one being really good at everything... But he has to work towards it as well, which actually adds a little twist on it. It's just the chosen one uh, and the person and the underdog story mashed together. Like, oh, the hero is going to be this um, is going to, is the strongest person on the planet. But they still have to work towards it. Like everyone else has to work at being the best at what they do, which I know nothing about Raya. If I, I is it even out because if it's just a movie that hasn't come out, then that's still like that's still a dumb thing. But I think if the movie is out, then that's still kind of unfair because these people are these are two different people making the series. So and both of them have consultants from like apparently they got consultants from Asian people and whatever uh, for Raya. So and they went to all oh, like to learn more, uh, learn more about Asian culture and whatnot. So it's not too surprising that, you know, making a, a fantasy movie like that wouldn't be that hard. Hell, Avatar is a lot of people forget Avatar is technically a fantasy setting. But it still has very uh, real world vibes to it with fantasy. Like it feels more like this could this could easily be done, especially with Legend of Korra. Uh, this feels like they wanted to. They, it's a little bit in the middle. Like it's a fantasy setting, but it still has real world aesthetics heavily. Because uh, like all the nations and how a lot of people like a lot of shit back then from a Avatar based a lot of it from like older cultures. How a lot of things were just very primitive and whatnot, and how Legend of Korra becomes more civilized. That's kind of a thing, but that's not important. Uh, so Lindsay Ellis has said other things, apparently. Uh, people have screenshotted them. Uh, these are said, like, oh, like, we blah, blah, beep. I couldn't find, like, the whole tweet. Joe gave his life. This is 326. Apparently, she said this before that. She, I don't know if how true this is, if somebody can confirm this or not, because she, she most likely did say something dumb, like every celebrity. Uh, so let's read it. Finally got around to watching Soul, and woof, that ending. Yeah, I get it. That's an allegory, but the central conceit does not require romanticizing the souls of the unborn in a way that doesn't make sense. That just doesn't make sense to me. Fun, a pixel film for the pro-life crowd. Between this now, between this now, because this is the only thing I'll ever say about the movie. Yike, yike, yike. Yikes. Which, if this is actually something she said, that's the 
dumbest thing you could have done. Well, because especially when this is like a racial, like this becomes like a race thing with movies. Whenever a protagonist is like black or anything, people are going to get upset when people, you know, bring up, you know, very sensitive topics. Because the movie Soul wasn't even about that. It was just like, oh, a black guy and he's struggling with life and everything. Like, and this is this is also taken from the same people taking screenshots. So let's actually look at Raya. Uh, these are all based off of dragons. The fang, the heart, the talon, the spine, the tail. Avatar bases his islands off of different things. Hell, one of the big uh, uh, things is Avatar actually tries to take from actual, tries to actually make it more, you know, have an actual feel for a lot of things. I'm not going to go into detail. Everyone knows what Avatar is. Uh, so apparently, this was a, a Lindsay Ellis account in 2020 or something. Uh, I don't know if this is really hers. Wait, I can go back. Yeah, no. And this was her account, apparently. So actually, let's look at the tweet. Uh, whoops, that's my B. Uh, someone actually brings this up. Lindsay Ellis slightly deleted her tweet because she saw people had a or this tweet circling after her bad taste about Raya. And my internet is loading slowly. Hooray. Uh, whoops, there we go. I've been waiting for this tweet to be launched for over a year now. I'm glad I remember it. Let's, let's summon it really quick. Someone is sitting in front of me on this movie, in this, on this plane. is watching the movie Harry, and I found myself wondering whether this is any re real Raylo style fanfic between Harry and her Twinkie former owner, and, and, and suddenly grateful that the connection on this plane is not strong enough for me to check. I don't, I don't know what that has to do. I'm, let's look at it. I've been waiting for this tweet to be launched for over a year. Yada, yada. It's happening on the timeline. Uh, being like anyone else to see that tweet and delete it, it's never been known dude it's embarrassing it mentioned the whole John Boyega uh, made a sex joke about Ray was happening and the sex is like Jenny Nicholson like Jenny Nicholson I always thought it was funny how the racist came resolution recalling John Boyega's character sex as well sexualizing main female doing the same as and having her only be object for the men around her in the films and fan of consumption later through the fan fan so it's funny to me uh, being Essayist not being able to handle criticism or, or criticism is sad as fuck. I don't know at New NYU you got the NYU filters with that attitude. I don't actually know anything about that. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is you're a neoliberal right here, microaggression as fuck, and at some point, we're fighting. No, it's been walking talks like a duck. Wait, not the Harriet. I have no idea what Harriet is. She said dumb shit. So let's ask. Because these, these are a lot of tweets. Whoops. Lucia. I'm not a fan of bread tubers. Except by nowadays. Except for H. Oh, where do they go by nowadays? Except for H. Oh, I guess. But I can't. Not like the guy who made the loss. Loss analysis video. Uh, Zealous. Uh, worse and worse. You know. I actually agree with Lucia. She's a pretty nice person that I follow on Twitter. And you should as well. Uh. History and death threats and injustice. Uh, ContraPoints. Uh, just funny. From her. So ContraPoints got originally one of her big cancels that everyone remembers is she said a thing about non-binary people. How, well, when she goes to bars and stuff, she just wants people to just assume that she is a cis woman without having to go, oh my God, are you trans? No, she just wants people to just look at her and immediately go and just go call and call her a woman. What the hell is going on outside? I don't care what's going on outside. It's not important. Uh, like it's outside of my house, right, right at the door. I'm in the kitchen, uh, but that's not important. Probably my neighbors, uh, justify the problem of things. Yeah, really shouldn't be harassing people. She continues to do blah blah blah. Seeing people fantasizing put about violence against her. Yeah, that's fucking dark and disgusting. Uh, philosophy two got dragged for uh, making a milk post point about the word transition being used in a headline about Trump, only to later come out as trans. Uh, and people were like, the joke's no longer bad. So the abuse was fine because now it's, it's now it's no longer bad. Seriously, the joke was no, was benign as the rendered non problematic by her being her. Then uh, <laughs> who did the harm in the first place? By her simply going, be rendered non problematic. Yeah, that's true. Unconscious was smeared as a racist for dressing up as a cat girl, and no, no that's dumb. I feel like if she did it and she did it to like make fun of like the Japanese culture, then that would be different. But if you just do it, it's fine. The fuck? I'm I'm not opening that door. My neighbors are gonna bother me, and I just want to relax. 
Just with Lindsay Ellis, uh, just firing all the hate machine against her all over again. There's Avatar, uh, even Death Threats, her platform was training. She was chased off her platform. Uh, in a time when the Asian community is under violent attack, yeah, that really sucked. That's actually what's going on. Uh, the Tonkier, yeah, some, um, I think the Honest Trailers makes this. Even Saber Spark have talked about, you know, it being like Avatar. Uh, bad Faith Interpret. I'm going to have to answer that door, aren't I? Uh, and to defend Disney, oh, yeah, they, yeah, everyone, yeah, that that's such a fair argument. People still defend Disney. Uh, so it's great. So, of Ellis make that comparison it was made by two. I got they had consultants too. Yeah, how I quickly forgot Disney's cool. And Chai, yeah, that's so fucking fucked up. A lot of action villain that was so fucked up. But Alice is a monster here for a tweet. Disney is just you know the trope of mashing of different Asian cultures. Uh, and is for how is this harming? It really isn't. Uh, the idea of watching Twitter and the light of going on and Sarah after Genesis or Sarah Z is next or Sarah Z next as if there's not enough of, but it's some kind of some next season teaser disgusting yeah that's so fucking bad people are just they see less about the white bread laughing about white bread tubers they are and who are you then wait wait and how problem they are and they should shut up uh, uh, who are you are there white people need to shut up which means you should also shut up would uh, offends you, us, you hypocrites, or they don't fuck off. When people are saying first, it's an invitation to invite yourself in the party. There's a lot more bonfire yada yada, but half, well, zero, zero skin in the game. Like I don't really, I I'm just I just I agree with her. She's she's made some smart takes because the left has a habit of eating itself, and everyone's like, no, we don't do that. But this is kind of an example. I'm not opening my neighbor's door. I'm not. Maybe if anyone has learned better, voices be heard, and problematic. Yeah, this is a good tweet. Love makes jokes about the right is so unstable. Uh, is All I see is left is fan nowadays, too. Yep. I'm glad to see I spent a Saturday morning staring at my screen in disbelief. I uh, have old creators, and I've seen all these controversies happen in real time. And it wasn't malicious, so I'm, do, I'm tired of this dogpiling. Yeah. Uh, you should check out Miss Stair Fusion's YouTube channel. Fuck, God damn it, Twitter. Stop being lazy. And also, Hail Zeon. Uh, they make good content. And Mozilla Vulpix also makes good content. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Because this is the end of the video. Uh, I honestly think everyone has bad takes on Twitter. I'm just gonna have to open my fucking neighbor's door, aren't I?